In this video we'll be looking at how you actually enter a portfolio piece into the store so it can be purchased and um, I'd actually recommend that you do this as the first step to adding a new portfolio piece simply because there's some um, unique numbers that you'll need from this, some product numbers that will then go onto the actual portfolio page itself. So, so start with this step first. So first of all let's log in to the back end here. Okay, and um, if you look on the left hand side menu here, um, right down the bottom here we're looking for cart 66 which is the shopping cart. Depending on uh, how it is when you open up the back end here, um, it, you may just see the cart 66 like that or you could also see under there um, three sub menus, orders, products and shipping. So you can toggle those with the, with the arrow there. Um, so we're going to toggle that and then we're going to go to products because we're actually going to add a new product here. So let's click on products and um, so we're adding a, a new portfolio piece so let's call it, um, you know it would, would be whatever the name of the painting is but let's call it beautiful painting for the heck of it. And um, now you need to give this an item number so that the store can actually keep track of the pricing and shipping charges for this item. And um, this needs to be a unique item and the best way is just to look, if you look down below you'll see the existing list of items with their item numbers. And if you, there's basically two sets, there's the normal numbers uh, like for instance 033, 034, etc. And then you'll see some numbers that have a, a, a 0.1 um, and these are basically the, the Giclée product numbers. So if you have an original which is for instance 038, if that's the product number, then the Giclée of that would be 038.1. Um, just a heads up there. So if we look down the list you'll see that the most recent original that we've added was number 041. The most recent ones are always towards the bottom and also you can see its partner there, the G clay of the same painting which is 041.1. So what that tells us is that uh, for the next item we're going to add it needs to be something bigger than 041. So um, let's use 042 in this case. So we'll call this item number 042 and we'll give it a price, whatever it is. Um, let's say it's 2,500. Um, no need for anything else there. You do want to change the tax to yes. And what this will do is this will, this will add the sales tax um, for buyers in your state. That's how the store is set up. Um, you want to have the shipped as yes. That, will, that indicates it requires shipping and means that there'll be a shipping charge associated. Um, you don't actually need to add the weight here, you can leave that out. Um, the maximum quantity um, for an original you would normally set this to 1 and for a G clay you would just leave it blank. Okay, So for, um, for an original that's basically what you do. So then you click save and if you scroll down the bottom you'll now see that that item 042 beautiful painting is all there. But we also want to add a Giclée version of it. So let's add beautiful Giclée, sorry, beautiful painting Giclée. And this will be 042.1 because the 0.1 is always the Giclée version of the original. And we'll have the, the the base price here for the smallest one is $25. And again this will be taxed, yes, and shipped, yes, and everything else there you can leave blank. Now with the Giclée options you also need to add something in this product variation area. So if we click on the product variation header there's some more fields here 
And we're going to add this option group one and what this will do is it will allow the customer to purchase different sizes at different price variations. Um, now there's a particular piece of code which we've given you in the in the email that we sent you and um, I just need to find my text editor. So basically this is going to be the same for all your gclays. I have it here in my text editor and you can just cut and paste it out of the email that we sent you. Um, and we're just going to cut and paste that in here. And basically what this says is that for an 8.5 by 11 uh, the price is as we specified it up the top $25 for a 13 times 19 it's going to be an additional $10 and for a 17 times 22 it's going to be an additional $20 so that just that means that the customer is going to be able to choose from those different sizes so then we're just going to save that and now if you look down below you will see that we have both of those um, new items there, beautiful painting and beautiful painting she clay. Now um, the other thing that we need to do here is to specify shipping. Now for the uh, for the she clays uh, we basically use uh, and, and sorry I jumped over that a bit but basically in that cart 66 menu you, sim you simply um, select the shipping item there in the sub menu and that will take you to this cart page and what you'll see here is that at the top here we have some default rates and these are basically what are used for the G-Clay prints so we have set up that the first G-Clay of any order ships for $25 and any additional G-Clays that were bundled together with that would ship for an additional $12.50 each um, so you don't need to worry about adding shipping charges for G-Clays they're already set up. What you do need to think about is what um, shipping charges should apply to the original that you just added. Um, and so we can actually go down here if you click on click on this um, product menu here you'll be able to scroll down until you get to actually let's find it this is actually in alphabetical order so it's um, just a little confusing the other was in numerical order but if you look here you'll see beautiful painting and we want the original not the g-clay so select this one and then we have one shipping method set up which is ground so just leave that and then you just simply want to uh, enter here um, the shipping charge that would be associated with uh, with shipping this this piece of art, this original. So in this case I'm going to say $125 and um, then save that. And then so that is basically all set up. So so um, these uh, the original and the G-Clay are now both orderable. Uh, what we'll do in the next video is we'll actually go in and we'll show you how to actually enter the piece in your portfolio so that people can see it and then place an order. One other thing in this cart 66 menu, um, there's an item here called orders. So if you go into that and have a look, uh, you can see um, any existing orders that have been placed from your from your store. And if you look at, um, let's say we look at this top one, you'll see it's got a complete summary of the order, um, who the customer was, how it was shipped, um, contact details, pricing information, and um, the other thing that you can do here is in this case this this order is set up as a new order which means the order was received but when you've actually processed that order and, and shipped it out to a customer you can just um, you can set that order here to complete and then update or if for some reason you you needed to cancel if, if the customer wanted to cancel the order you can also set that to cancelled so basically over time this will have a complete um, order history of everything that's been ordered from your store uh, so that is how to uh, enter products so they can be ordered and just how to keep track of, of uh, the actual orders that you've received.